Hello everyone, I'm Latifa. I'm the current president of the Student Council. I'm studying my first year of uh, psychology bachelor. Actually, I finished my first year, moving on to my second. I am from Egypt and Morocco, and I've been here my entire life. That's pretty much it. All right, when I initially was choosing um what university i plan to go to i had a lot of options and some of them were those big old established names like sunway or um and then i thought what can i actually add to a place like this and there wasn't really much to add they already have their established system that i'm just going to fit right into and then i looked at iumw as an option and i thought okay a calm secluded campus somewhere in kl and a new name a new place so from the moment i wanted to come to IMW, I decided I will be the student council president because that was the way I'd make most out of the time in the place. And that was the way I'd also, it was sort of the best way to give to the place and take from it at the same time, if you get what I mean, so yeah. In the beginning, I could not believe it. I thought this is really not happening. This cannot be actually happening. But then it's, it's less of a grand thing when you're in it than when you're outside it because when you're outside you don't really know what's what's being a student president council president of student council like you have no idea once you're in it you realize it's more grant work and things to do than actually the you know the grand name of oh he is or she is the president of the student council but i'm very happy i'm very grateful i have an awesome team working with them thus far was really brilliant and i look forward to every moment of it Actually, I'd consider that we are rather lucky, our team, because the previous team had to set precedent to something that was completely new and like they had to come up with the ground rules on how to deal with such a situation. So we were lucky that they were there first and we were also lucky to know that this is how it's going to be. So no, not really. I did not think it's too difficult. I have to wait until next year because we've already been living in this situation for some time since last March. So I feel like it's part of our human obligation to kind of be adapted to it by now. So I thought that if we are all to be adapted to it, then as like the student council this year, our job is to even make the most out of it. Like maybe last year's student council, like their last term, their job was to make sure everyone adapted and blend in, like dealt with the situation. But then for us, our job now is to make sure not only that students can adapt, but excel, and that not only can we adapt, but also excel. So the added responsibility was scary and thrilling simultaneously. Yeah. I've had previous experiences. Let's not strictly say like never something like this. It was never strictly, oh, you are the president. But since my childhood in any group that I've been in, I've always been that person that gets, let's say the final word, like that people come to for advice or that people will ask, what should we do? And then, I'll be the quiet one who speaks at the end and they'll just take what I say, I don't know, for some reason. So, I don't know, I feel like I've always had this in the center character since way back, but it's nothing like this. This is very new and can be challenging, but yeah. I'm not sure if it was Shakespeare who said that the way to live life is to start loving things and admiring is a part of love or love is a part of admiring I'm not going to go into the philosophy of it right now but i admire a lot of people because that is the way to live like i really really have a lot of people that i admire i don't know where to start most of the time i don't admire those grand figures that everyone looks up to as oh he's a leader or she's a leader i look up more to people that are more relatable like people that i see in my daily life so I've admired a lot of teachers growing up. I've, I've seen in them set the example for what a leader should be because I felt like instead of forcing the knowledge, like ramming it down our throats, they were more like um, giving us, you know, initiative. Like they're just leading the way and we're following them. So teachers mostly, I admire my friends. Um, my friends are severely troubled people. I have a lot of friends with serious mental problems and family issues and whatnot. And then the way I see them struggle to deal with it, but then live to fight another day and, you know, wake up with the same power in them. Yeah, I admire that. I even admire them in their weak moments when they don't wake up with the same power. 
Um, yeah, mostly, but like historical figures or big names, I usually don't carry that much of a big admirance to. Since it's MLK week, that is someone I do admire, actually. I've always, like him, had a dream. Yeah, pretty much it. Okay, how I decided to study psychology. Um, I've always had interest in the more human things than, like, I've always been interested in, a, in the human than the, you know, inanimate things more i'm not into machinery or such I, I admire how it works i look at the technology and i'm like whoa brilliant but i was always more interested in the human side of life and i think that's fueled by my reading and writing interests because i've always been into stories whether reading them or making them so writing them so i would always love the human aspects how the human will struggle and think and deal with the situation and or not deal with the situation or escape it so psychology came from there from understanding the human mind and soul, if that is a thing, and so on. When I decided to study psychology in IMW, I thought I really want a calm campus because I wanted to really focus on psychology. Like I, I did not want a university life full of events initially because I thought I really love this major. I want to sit down and focus on it. But so far the experience is really good. I do prefer when it was physical to when it's online, but because I like being in the classroom with all my classmates and the lecturers and so on, but it's really a good experience so far, like it's proven worthy. My biggest challenge, because I'm not a very online person, like my accounts on all apps are almost invisible. I'm not very socially active. So my biggest challenge was actually perceiving this as a thing, like those people exist on the other side and I have to be there on time for them. And I have to submit this work that they are giving me and I have to actually do this, they exist. It's not just, you know. So that was my biggest challenge, honestly. That's why I feel the best advice I can give is, you know, people say like, oh, put on your best clothes and dress up as if you're actually gonna leave the house and go to campus and do all those things. No, but also don't do the class from your bed. Like adapt a system in the middle where you do make some effort to attend the class. Like you do get up, you do get clean and dressed at least to some extent. And then at the same time, you're comfortable. You're not inconvenienced in any way. Do not adapt a flashy plan because it's gonna inconvenience you on the long run and you're gonna ditch it and you're gonna go back to whatever you were doing. So the best way to adapt it would just be yourself and be comfortable, like set, set the standard but then be yourself and be comfortable when you're doing it like don't make it overbearing as a plan and yeah keep going keep persevering just because you miss something this day or this class or this week does not mean you're done or whatever when it goes down to the gpa there's always a chance that your gpa will be pushed higher because the marks are like calculated and you know weighed out of a percentage so just keep going it doesn't matter what you missed you know you can do this that's my advice. My advice to them and to anyone embarking on the university journey in general is know what you want. And I don't mean by that know the name of the major you want to be in or know the specifics of the major, even down to the last detail. No, that's not what I'm saying. Know what you want out of a university experience and know what you want in general. Know what you really, really like. Uh, just because the name sounds good or this major sounds agreeable by parents or by anyone does not mean you will enjoy your time doing it. And enjoying your time doing something is really key to you excelling in it. So know that you want something and know that you want it enough to enjoy it and then go for it. And that's really important because university gets tough at times. You won't be as brilliant as you always are or you won't be at your best. So knowing what you want and enjoying it is important because you'll then remind yourselves of first the goal you initially set out to fulfill and secondly the times you enjoyed trying to fulfill that goal so that's what i would say and keep persevering through it because the hard times will come so in conclusion everyone it was uh, fun talking to you laura it was fun sharing all this and having this platform to direct my thoughts to everyone however nonsensical they may be 
I'd like to direct a really warm hi to all my team. I wish you were all here. I'm hoping next time we can have something all together. And um, that would be all. Thank you very much. <laughs>